Hello, welcome. This video is for people who want to study in Lille, have questions about student life in Lille, are going to do an exchange year, Erasmus, year abroad, whatever, or if you're just wondering what student life is like in Lille. So I'm going to talk from my experience, uh, which is that I went to EDEC, rocking the merch now, I thought it was appropriate. <laughs> um, I posted an exchange vlog of my experience at EDEC and I've been getting lots of comments and DMs about what it was like, what are the rent prices, what's the party life, how do you travel and all the all the stuff, you know. So when you first arrive to Lille, you'll probably get off at the Flandre station, which has metros and tramways and all the important connections throughout France. I mainly use the tram, which only goes out of Lille. <laughs> There's no trams in the Lille area, but only to like travel outside of Lille and to get to Lille. So I used that. It took me about 20 to 25 minutes on a tram and then I would have to walk like five to 10 minutes to campus. But you can also take a metro, which is about 15 minutes, but then it would take you like 15 to 20 minutes to get to campus. So regarding like how long it takes you, it's the same, but you just have to decide if you want to walk longer or if you want to drive <laughs> longer. And I always chose like, ah, I'll just drive for 25 minutes and then I'll walk five minutes. But metro is more convenient for people in Lille because you can travel around Lille faster, I would recommend walking because it's not that big of a city and there's lots of pretty buildings and sites to see. But if you want to get somewhere faster, then obviously you're going to use Metro. There's only two lines, the red one and the yellow one. So the prices for ticket are, I don't know, I don't remember correctly, but my I always got a pack of 10 tickets for 10 euros. Um, I also had a plastic card because I was like, I'm not gonna have a paper card because I'm gonna be here for a while. I think there's also like a student monthly discount price, but for that you had to go to the station and there were always long lines at the beginning of the month, so I just couldn't be bothered to do that. Other than that, we took an Uber when we were coming home from like parties and stuff. It was about 30 euros to campus from Lille, but if there's like four of you, you split it up and it's like seven euros. So for traveling, you would mostly use the other train station, which is the Euro Lille. This one has a big shopping mall, There's also like dorm rooms inside of it. It's like a big, huge everything. <laughs> um, the Euro Lille has the Eurostar, which is the train that goes from Paris through Lille to London, you know, the one that's in a tunnel. It also goes to Brussels, I think. I think there's also like international trains that go there. In the Euro Lille, there's also Flixbus and Webus stations. And those are very cheap buses if you want to travel around France, also from to out of France. I went to Brussels for like five or four euros. Amsterdam, I think the ticket was, I have no idea, but it was very cheap from like six euros to 20 euros very very cheap i was able to go to paris with a flix bus for one euro oh my god that's nothing i mean the bus ride is three hours but one euro for a ticket to paris is amazing i really go just go <laughs> talk about accommodation. Like I said, I lived on campus, which is in Qua, suburbs area. Therefore, I can't tell you much about accommodation in Lille because for me, it was like the school sent me an email if I want to live on campus and I was like, yeah. So a few months later, they sent me an email so that I can apply and that was the process. Really easy. I also have friends who lived 
like in another dorm that was also near the school and there were also people living in the Euroville uh, which is like right next to the train station I think the location is amazing because you're in Lille and also you have trains right there to go wherever you want you can go to school very easily but there's also pros and cons of like living on campus because you can get to school in like two minutes but there's nothing happening and you need like 30 minutes to get to the city but if you live in Lille you have like everything there there's like bars and restaurants and all the entertainment you can go outside and be surrounded by people it's such a, a live city very energetic and very fun so there's pros and cons to everything I would prefer living in Lille, but I also really like <laughs> living in dorms because I made friends with people who also lived in dorms, so we just traveled there together. Um, I don't know, you decide how you think it's better for yourself. Also, the questions I get a lot are if I had CAF, which is like a student discount scholarship type of thing for your rent price, for your housing. I didn't because you need to get a French bank account for that. And that takes forever. Like, honestly, it takes so much, such a long time. I had friends who were setting up the bank account and they got it set up like a few weeks before they had to depart from Lille. So it takes a very long time and you need French knowledge. And I was like, you know what? I just won't bother with it. So I also can't help you, help you on that front. Uh, I can tell you like rent prices are anywhere from about three, 160 to like 500 and more so for example my rent was 460 and then you pay electricity every month or every other month and it's like 50 euros but i know people in lille had to pay like for example there was someone with like 360 there was also like people who pay like 500 but you always get your own room and your own bathroom so i don't know once again like what's in your price range that's like choose wisely you know <laughs> Yeah, people were also living in Roubaix, which is a bit more further out from Qua and Lille. There's cheaper rent prices, but then again, you're farther away from Lille, so I don't know. But also Roubaix is kind of like a city of its own. It's not that much touristy, it's more for people who live there. Um, there's also like shops and restaurants and coffee shops and there's museums. <music> There's also like the Palais de Beaux Arts in Lille, which is a very beautiful building. Um, I never went inside, I don't know why, but you can mostly always get either free tickets or student discount tickets for anything like museums, cinemas, events. There's mostly always like a student discount. There was also like an art night where they played different animations on the buildings. That was so much fun. Okay, now let's talk about the city layout before I get blinded by the sun. Um, once you step out of the Gare de Lille, you have like a long street that leads you to the city center where there's main square, there's like a city hall and like a bourse that once served the purpose for commerce. Usually there's like a book fair inside and on the main square there's lots of bars and restaurants. It's very nice to just sit down and people watch and drink coffee for like three hours. <laughs> So from the main square, you can decide to go to the old Lille or the newer part of Lille, which has like all the shops like H&M and cinemas and fast food chains, like more, more modern part of Lille. But I would suggest you explore the old town a lot because there's always like some little alleyway that you will discover. There's lots of little coffee shops pastries, bakeries, everything is so beautiful, like jewelry shops, boutiques with clothes and furniture. Of course, there's, they're very expensive, 
but it's nice to just window shop and walk around and try different bakeries and <laughs> i remember my friends and i once went to a restaurant and we had a reservation and we had to wait a little bit and across the restaurant the same owners had a bar with the purpose that people who are waiting would go to the bar and wait there and i thought that was a very good concept very good business idea <laughs> they all seem very small but then you enter and they either have like lots of levels like <laughs> you can go up to the third floor or they're very like narrow but long and there's like lots of different rooms with different seating options so if you ever think there's no space there probably is still space for you <laughs> there to connect with the student organizations like Erasmus Lille and there's ESN Lille. They both like serve the same purpose to like connect the exchange students and organize different nights or trips or they like give tours around the city. It's very nice that they organize the events and you just go and you can meet different exchange students that are also there to meet you. I remember Erasmus Lille had coffee night like every monday it was like night of languages and each table was like a different language so if for example if you're spanish there was a spanish table and you could go and talk to people who also speak spanish and i think maybe for some people it would be easier to become friends with them and you can explore the city together and i really encourage you to make friends who are not just in your class or school so you have some people who have different experiences in the city and know different places so, um, then we have parties um, there's a party street in Lille it's called Masena and it has I think there's like club after club after club um, the ones that I went to are Network and Latina we would go to Network first and they play like lots of like club songs and French music French people love French music. And then after network would close, you would go to Latina and then party there. Then you would go across the street and eat like fast food, like kebabs or whatever. <laughs> so for example, I come from Slovenia and a shot here in a bar would be about two, three euros. So when I say it was expensive for me, it's like you have to see it from my point of view because a shot in network, for example, was six euros and that was a lot. <laughs> so if you wanted to pay around for your friends, you would spend like 40 euros. Also food prices, it was like 10 euros a meal in every restaurant and then you get a drink. So it's like, let's say 15 euros on average. Um, also a bit more than I'm used to but it's worth it, the ambiance is nice, the food was very good, I'm not complaining. <laughs> now I'm just gonna talk about my experience at EDEC. If you're wondering if you're also going to EDEC, I loved it there. The campus is very beautiful, it's green, it's quiet. They have food on campus, <laughs> which was very good. <laughs> like a little shop with like sandwiches and prepared food. And there's a cafeteria and then one like fancy restaurant, which I only went to on the first day when it was like an introduction day. Then the school also has lots of organizations and associations. It's a private school. So to me, it had a very like American college movie type of vibe. The association for exchange students, they organized like a bowling night. We had vine, wine and cheese night, which was very fun. Although I don't eat cheese. There was lots of activities happening throughout the weeks like for example you would have these associations give out flyers there was a bouncy castle they had like a dj outside of the school to like promote their association 
um, like a punching bag. I don't know, there was lots of things happening and I was just like, every time I came out of the dorm to go to school, I was like, oh, so today is like bouncy castle day. <laughs> I had to take eight classes, but it was fine because two of them were languages. One of them was like exploring little and like French people. It's called Contemporary French Business and Society and there was only like 13 people, we were all exchange students and we had like few field trips to Lille and the professor would like explain the history behind the buildings and the history of Lille and yeah, classes are very interactive, there's lots of group work, like constant assessments but I think it's manageable because also your timetable is changing every week for example, you will have three days of classes and two days off, which you can use for traveling because that's what I did. Um, and then it goes into the weekend, so that's fun. It was very flexible and you could travel a lot, like I said, because you would have different days off. I think that's mostly what I wanted to cover in this video. If you have any more questions that I didn't answer in this video, feel free to comment or DM me. But I think that everything I talked about is basically how far my knowledge goes of student life in Lille. I don't know how it is now with like COVID and everything, but I'm sure that all the organizations for exchange students and your school will try their best to make you feel more comfortable and get you to meet people and still have the experience of an exchange. For me, coming from a small country and then going into this huge cultural like very diverse country it was very eye-opening but yeah that was everything from my side thank you so much for watching have fun enjoy your life take advantage of the opportunities that come to you and yeah bye